Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make uh, other island buildings so that uh, they have to go to other islands to sell their coins and get new upgrades. So to do this, what we're going to do is get our exchange building and our upgrade building. We're going to duplicate them and put this under Island 2. Right click and group as a folder, which we'll rename to Island 2 Buildings. And we'll drag uh, these, uh, this, these two buildings onto our second island. I'll show you how to do it for the third island later as well. And fourth and fifth, etc. if you have more. Just put these in the corner wherever we want them. Now we can close up island one. And first thing we want to do is I'm going to work on our upgrade shop first. We'll come to the exchange points a bit later. So under server script service, under our shop scripts, uh, we're going to rename this from open upgrade shop one to open upgrade shops. Uh, because at first I thought it would just make multiple scripts, but now it's probably more optimized to just do all of this in one script. So that is what we'll do. So we'll open up this script, copy this uh, top section of code here, come down and paste it, and this will be game.workspace.island2.island2buildings.upgradebuilding.upgradepad.touched, colon connect, function hit, and it's all the exact same code, but under shop events.showupgradeshop1, we're going to make this show upgrade shop 2 now under replicated storage, of course under shop events, we can duplicate show upgrade shop 1 and call this show upgrade shop 2. We can now close our replicated storage and our shop scripts and our even server script service. Okay, now what we're going to do under starter GUI, under our upgrade shop, under shop and um, scrolling frame, un upgrade 3 is our multiple rebirths. I'm going to open that because what I'm going to do for our rebirth upgrade, I'm going to make it so at the first island you can buy one um, button, at the second uh, the second island you can buy two buttons, and at the third island you can buy the rest. So I'm going to open up the text button, open up the text script for now. Okay, now in this while wait do, um, we are going to add in an if statement. We're going to say if player dot upgrades dot upgrade free level dot value is less than or equal to no it's just less than uh free mm, so level let's think level zero we're going to have one button level one will have two buttons so we'll say is less than one then we will use this code here and then we'll say else if player dot upgrades dot upgrade free level dot value equals one and player dot world boost dot value uh, is true. No, it is is two is one. Sorry, that means of course if the world boost is one, we are still on the first island. So we will then say, in fact, what I'll do is I'll get this script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot district description dot text blah blah blah. Copy that um, long line of code, and above this while wait do we'll say local um, we'll say local uh, text function equals function like so and just paste that in and then what we can do is just call text function like that else if player.upgrades to upgrade free level dot values one and the world boost is one then we need to say script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot description dot description dot text it uh, will be reach island to buy more or something like that reach island two to buy more now we'll say else if again, player dot upgrade else if player dot world boost dot value is equal to two, and player dot upgrades dot upgrade free level dot value is less than. So let's think. So level two will will have three rebirth buttons. So let's say free rebirth is less than level two. Then, so if we're on the second island and our upgrade level is less than two, then we will just call that text function again. And then this should be our final else if. Uh, else if, in fact, actually we'll have two more. Else if player dot upgrades dot upgrade free level dot value is equal to two and player dot world boost dot value equals two. 
then that means we're on the second island. We've maxed out our level, our value, our upgrade three level at level two. So we then need to say script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot description dot text will be reach island three to buy more. And then our final else if our final else if will say else if player dot world boost dot value equals three. And when I say three, that basically means on the first island, our world boost is one. Our second island, our world boost is two. Our third island, I believe the world boost I've got set to um, three. Yeah, I have. Make sure it's just whatever your world boost value is for the third and second island. And fourth, fifth, it's like however many islands you have. More islands you have, the more else ifs you're going to have in this if statement. Else if player dot world boost dot value is free and uh, player dot upgrades dot upgrade free level dot value. In fact, we don't even need the and on this one because it's the last island. We can just say if the boost value is free, then we will let them buy all the upgrades because they'll be able to buy all of them on the third island anyway. I'm going to make one more function which will be called local hide button. Uh, which will set equal to a new function and in here we'll say script dot parent which is the text button dot parent is the upgrade dot parent is upgrade free and then we'll say no we don't even need to say that we just need to say script dot parent which is the button dot uh, visible equals false because we don't want the visible to be we don't want the button to be visible if they can't buy it so then where we've got these other texts here to say reach island 2 to buy more we'll also say we'll also call hide button same here we'll call hide button and we also want to show the button on the text function so under text function we'll say script.parent.visible equals true and that should be it so in case anyone didn't quite catch that I know I kind of went through that a bit fast uh, here's what your code should look like of course, if you have more islands, then you're going to have more else if statements and things like that. Let's now test that. Hit play. And hopefully this works. World boost is not a valid member of players. So let's have a look. Where's our world boost? Our world boost is under other stats. Okay, so what we would need to do is so player.otherstats.worldboost instead of player.worldboost. So player.otherstats.worldboost. Uh, player.otherstats. Dot world boost player dot other stats dot world boost and player dot other stats dot world boost. Now if we hit test and play, this should all work. No errors in the output so far. So we'll exchange all of our points and things. Okay, we should now have enough to get ourselves more rebirth buttons. So the description is not actually changed at all. What I will do, in fact, is um, reset my data store because. I was thinking about it, I if I've already maxed out my upgrade, it's not really going to help, is it? So we'll make this tutorial 7 or something. I will also add under the text, uh, after all the else ifs, one final else where we will just call text function. Now if we hit play, let's do this again. So I'm just going to cheat and give myself loads of stamina, and then I'll give myself uh, maybe a thousand points. Let's give myself like 10,000 stamina. Or 109,000, that'll do the trick. Anyway, so let's have a look at this. So, new rebirth button. So, we need three gems. We can't, we're clicking it, it's not doing anything. We currently have one rebirth button. So, let's give ourselves some gems. I'm giving myself a thousand gems here. So, we click it. Um, and we do get, we get, here we go, another rebirth button. Now, you see the purchase. We've got the green bar here, but the purchase is gone. So, that is alright. If you don't want the green bar there at all, you can actually well you what you need to, all you need to do I'll show you that in a minute actually it's really easy just another line of code reach island 2 to buy more so we've got enough gems we're clicking it it won't do anything so we need to reach island 2 to get more so let's go to the second island I'm not sure I can get here on 1.1 thousand points but we'll give it a go absolutely not okay so we now got a two times world boost we go to buy upgrades here and the shop's not actually opening that's interesting so let's have a look. Why is the shop not opening? So we're going to stop the game. We'll have a little look. So under shop scripts, open upgrade shop. So game.workspace.island upgrade 
dot island two dot island two buildings dot upgrade building dot upgrade pad yes dot upgrade pad dot touch colon connect function here let's have a look under replicate storage so dot shop events dot show upgrade shop two yes aha that's because uh, we need to go under our sh upgrade shop open upgrade shop one we need to say in fact We don't even need to do that. We can just leave everything as it is. It's my fault. Sorry, everyone. We can clear this um, well, Actually, we still need that but we can just call show upgrade shop one We don't need multiple we just call shop upgrade shop one and we can delete shop upgrade shop two I'm going to play here just for the sake of ease so I don't have to run over here So here we are we're back on our two times world boost we can click this shop and here we go we can buy more so we get another one reach island free to buy more so we now have three rebirth buttons let's run over I've not uh, I'm going to hit stop because I've not even made the third upgrade area so we're going to duplicate the upgrade the exchange building and the upgrade building duplicate those and put this into island free we'll then right click and group as a folder and rename this to uh, uh, island free buildings and I'm going to drag these over onto island 3 now back under open upgrade shops we're going to copy this drop down two lines paste it and this will be dot island 3 dot island 3 buildings dot upgrade building dot upgrade pad dot touched and that's it now I'm going to hit play again make sure everything's saving so you see we still have three rebirth buttons we hit the shop uh, so it's saying we can buy more so let me have a look while it, why it's doing that so I'm going to hit stop, under upgrade 3, open up my text. Uh, so it's in the uh, else here, under else we want to just say, but what we'll do is under the else we'll just say, uh, we'll call the hide button function. And we'll say script.parent.parent.parent.description.text equals go to next island uh, or go to next go to next island to buy more something like that uh, because when we first load in all our if statements aren't going to apply to us so we then click it go to next island to buy more so we go over to the next island and it says reach island free to buy more so now we need to go to island free to test this I do not have enough points I don't think uh, yes I do wow uh, we'll click buy upgrades here and we can buy the rest boom 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 and perfect so everyone that is the upgrade shop uh, on other islands I'm not going to do the exchange today but we have at least got the buildings set up ready so in the next video we will do the exchange buildings uh, so then when you click exchange it will teleport you to the building on whatever island you're on so I hope you found the video helpful everyone thanks for watching and goodbye